Good morning, everyone. You're watching Exploring Attractions, and today brings us to Universal Studios Hollywood for a big update, because not only is there tons of Horror Nights construction going on, there's also some beginning phases of demolition for the rumored Fast and Furious roller coaster, replacing the special effects stage and the animal actor stage. So there's tons of updates. I'm so excited for this. It's been a month since I've been here, so tons to catch up on. But with that being said, let's go enjoy ourselves a day here at Universal Studios Hollywood. And of course, if we're here early in the morning, we can walk right into Nintendo. I want to see if we can swing a ride on Mario Kart. This is a great sign. There's like no one in line for single rider other than some people taking pictures over here. So last time a month ago, I was here during spring break time, whenever out spring break, and a single rider line was out towards the castle. And that's how you can kind of tell if it's going to be a long way for single rider. But we walked all the way over here where we just had the stairwell down to the station. Just got off Mario Kart. I got 140. I might go with to eventually hit 200, but honestly, I just suck at Mario Kart so much. Also, we broke down a couple times, so it's cool to see the scenes for a couple minutes. They're a little bit backed up, though, for a, a busy day today, which I noticed. But yeah, let's go head up to the upper lot and check out some exciting updates around the park now that we got Nintendo out of the way. That, as always, a quick reminder to everyone, if you enjoy theme park content and updates like this, please subscribe with those bell notifications on. And if you're new here, welcome. We've transported to the upper lot, and it seems like right now, even though there is not grad bash going on tonight, since the park is open until 9 o'clock, there is a bunch of middle schoolers running around like there's a bunch of schools here not for grad bash that's only for high school as far as i know but i mean the park itself is still oh my god dylan you just walked into my damn shot really <laughs> so anyways what i was saying dylan before you just walked in and you said you were filming right behind me yeah you know I, well i'm here all the time i'm obsessed so yeah. you know, i'm at all these parks all the time god that was that's very punny of you but what i was saying is it feels busy because um i know you just got in the park but there's tons of middle school groups here yeah so I'm not too sure. Like, I know they do grad bash for high schoolers, but... Well, at first I thought they were minions. Yeah, because they're all wearing yellow. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, dang, that's a lot of minions. <laughs> but now we take our attention to the Parisian Courtyard where we have our first sign of HHN construction. Well, would you look at that? All the detail going on for the Parisian Courtyard uh, house here. Not too sure what any of these houses are going to be, uh, other than Chucky, because there's been no announcement. It's kind of been like a a dry kind of time for Halloween Horror Nights announcements. This is looking very interesting. It kind of like reminds me of like the texture reminds me of La Llorona. If that means anything at all. But that's that's kind of what it looks like. Just obviously like a, a rectangle. Not too sure what this house is going to be quite yet. It definitely looks like it's going to be original because this does not match up with any IPs or anything that we've seen any IPs, any movies or TV shows. So I'm thinking it'll most likely be an original. Man, seeing the detail on this facade though is so exciting, knowing that we're like already four months away from Horror Nights. I just hope we get an announcement soon. Like, I am starving for an announcement from Horror Nights and seeing this detail makes me want it more. Here's a look at the right side of the facade here in Parisian Courtyard. Uh, there's a ladder at the, you kind of see the top part of the ladder. They're definitely still working on it. I mean, it looks complete, but obviously they still got more stuff to do that we don't even know about. But yeah. Man, this is definitely probably, I'm calling it earlier, probably will be my favorite facade of this year's event. Unless, of course, something out does it, but judging by the facades right now, this will probably be my favorite. Oh, look at this. They're like doing some cross promotion work here in the Secret Life of Pets area. I got a Super Mario Bros. movie poster right here with Bowser and the different penguins. Of course, since it is done by Illumination, and it's such a great movie, I highly recommend you guys all go check it out, out right now in theaters. So like we've discussed on this channel a few days ago about the brand new Minion Land coming to Universal Orlando, the big question is, will that happen here in Hollywood as well? Because we have French Street over here, it's just themed to, you know, French Street, and then the rest of this area is all Illumination. You got Secret Life of Pets behind us, Super Silly Funland. I'd love to see them extend Illumination a little bit more, and we talked a little bit more about it or a video which I'll leave linked down below in the description. Right, we're gonna take a view at everything going on off of this lookout because we get a good view at the construction for that random plot that's rumored to be a coaster. You can see equipment right over there. I think Dylan was saying uh, yesterday he got some good footage of them digging up some dirt. You know, it's a start. It's nothing like crazy yet, but it's definitely a start at whatever's gonna be placed here. Very exciting. We do have activity with different construction workers down here on this hill. If the rumors are true, this coaster is gonna take a lot to build because they have so much different elevation for them to pull this off. But I think Universal knows what they're getting themselves into. And once it's all said and done, I'm sure it's gonna be 
very, very popular. You know, as we pass back by the Super Silly Funland Splash Pad area, I noticed a lot of it's really faded. It could use a touch up and bringing more illumination in could give them plenty of time to do some general refurbishment on that and repaint it all. Because it's definitely really popular during the summer when it's hot outside and kids are looking to get wet. We also looked at the different sides of the Persian Courtyard House for Halloween Horror Nights and you can't see too much other than some black construction walls. I don't assume we'll be able to see anything at all since those walls or the outside of them we won't be able to see the actual interior work going on. But I mean, look at this construction going on. This is uh, blocking the animal actor stage. The construction wall stretch all the way from over here. You can kind of see the equipment that we were talking about right through the gates right there. And obviously it goes all the way down to the special effects stage. Also, one thing that I just realized is you can no longer use the bathrooms in the animal actors area since it's all blocked off by construction walls. Before, when there was just gates here, you could use the bathroom. So now, stage 57 is all blocked off. But no remnants of animal actors at all, aside from that sign right up there. We're making a pit stop here into Hogs. We're gonna go see how long Forbidden Journey is right now as far as single rider. Posted wait time's at 50 minutes, but up until like noonish right now, when everyone started to come in, it was only like at a 10 minute wait. That's the perks of having everyone go to Nintendo. Nobody's really in Potter anymore. I mean, look, I can, can walk around a lot. Whereas typically, you can't walk at all in here. All right, 75 minute post standby wait, about like a five minute single right away. We lucked out. You know, to this day, it amazes me how advanced that attraction is. And I mean, you, you can tell with how popular it is. It's also been a long time since I've been on Forbidden Journey. I think way back to like our 2022 Orlando show. It's been that long. Walking back down to the uh, little section down here where the star is at. I want to get a good look at the Horror Nights houses being constructed in the Mummy Queue and right behind the sound stage. We've made it over here to the Revenge of the Mummy Queue house for Horror Nights and you can see they're actively putting some more plywood up right now for the supposed facade. I mean I don't expect that they'll have the entryway on the other side because it looks like there's no preparation for that. It looks like once again we'll have the entry to the, the Mummy House, the Mummy Queue house on this side which honestly I like a little bit better and for the fact that they have so much more space to design an elaborate facade. And we take a look at the uh, former location of Killer Clowns from Outer Space last year, where the whole tent's up and the whole maze layout of our house layout. You still need to get used to that. And you can kind of get a look at the facade. Not too sure what this is going to be either. We're referencing the Horror Night Nightmare speculation map. It's rumored for Demon Slayer. And then obviously the sound stage uh, in front of it is rumored to have two houses on the spec map. So we're not, not too sure what any of it's gonna be because it seems like even with those spec maps, nothing is consistent, like they're changing so much. So I wouldn't hold your hopes out for stuff that you see on there. I would just wait till Hornets announces it themselves, but nonetheless, it is exciting to see the progress for whatever's gonna be located behind the sound stage. So here's the new developments for the rumored coaster. So this whole area is set to undergo a major overhaul and it looks like they have just put up those wood frames up at the top. We're not too sure what that's going to be used for. So originally I thought they were just going to demolish the entire thing. But honestly from them putting those little wood planks up there, it seems like they want to reuse as much as they can of the special effects stage. Which would make sense not only budget wise but for timing wise, that means that they could get this thing open, whatever it is, late next year if they're going to reuse. They don't have to destroy and then rebuild. The exciting thing about it is the amount of employees working on this right now. And there's active construction crew up there putting these up as we speak. And there's a guy taking a picture up there of their work. And you get an even better view at those wooden frames up there. They kind of look like shark fins in a way. Of course, more construction walls and hedges spread out all over here in front of stage 56. I mean, you can definitely see them start to demo a, a few stuff as part of the building. So maybe they're just reusing a couple things. Maybe they're just reusing the steel. So, so the building's very old. So I wouldn't imagine that they want to completely reuse the entire building. But like I said, if they were to reuse it compared to just destroying it and building from the ground up, it's obviously a lot quicker and a lot cheaper for them, making it for a pro for not only the consumer, but a pro for the parks too because then they can open it earlier and keep on building. On Yes Wall there is a bunch of middle schoolers in here and it's not Grad Bash today. There are preparations for Grad Bash. I think there are events coming up. There's a little DJ booth up above the Quickie Mart. It looks, looks pretty funny up there but 
that's smart to have the DJ booth way up there and on the floor you don't take up space on the floor. It's been like forever since I've been inside the Quickie Mart but I'm loving this little figurine set. Homer, Marge, Lisa, Bart, and Maggie. Love this. How much is it? We're looking at $21.95 for this five set of The Simpsons. More construction walls out here in front of Special Effects Show. The only remnants of that is of course the building and the sign right there. Well, this will be a good view once like, we start to see a rapid construction. Oh, I just realized it just says effects show. No special in it. They're just, they're just effects. Nothing special. Poor effects. They're not special no more. I mean, how many jokes can I make with this, really? <laughs> but yeah, just on the other side of stage 56, um, right on the top part in the corner is where those wooden frames are. So I'm wondering if they're just going to extend them all across the top part of the building. I don't know, I'm, I'm really confused on what they're doing with it right now. Obviously, over the coming weeks or so, we'll get a more definitive answer. But, uh, yeah, right now, it just seems like they're, they're doing something. That's all I can say. Well, finally, the Universal Plaza is once again reopened. It looks really nice on the floor. If you guys are wondering what they changed about it, they took out all the little play area water stuff that squirts up. So that's no longer here. But temporarily, we got some fast race cars over here. I just want to say like it, it looks really nice in here. Like props to Universal because it definitely needed an update since they do multiple events in here. It looks really good. Oh man they're playing some jams in here. I can't put too much of it copyright. So this whole area right now is home to a temporary kind of display to promote the brand new Fast and Furious movie. You got tons of different cars out here. You have a golden Lamborghini. I mean, these cars are really cool. So much detail in them. It's, it's really popular because there's like quite a few people around here taking pictures. Of course, you got Dom Toretto, Vin Diesel's car, right front and center in the middle of all of them. But man, that golden Lamborghini is something else. Well, I know one thing's for sure. In there, there's a party going on in there. Like they got music blasting, so much fun in that brand new refreshed area. And you can see all the different Fast and Furious cars, which is a whole lot of fun if you're a fan of the different films. Fast X is out now in theaters. But yeah, I'm loving the little refurbishment that they did for the Universal Plaza section. Everyone's making their way out slowly but surely outside of Waterworld. The finale just went off, we just heard it explode, but if you notice there's no construction here in Waterworld for Horn Heights this year. And that's because I don't think there's gonna be a house here. And if we're following, once again, on the, the rumored speculation map of Horror Night Nightmares, it looks like they're putting a show here. I mean, obviously that would be the obvious answer if you put two and two together with special effects stage now being closed. Still waiting to hear a word from uh, Universal on that. I don't assume that they'll confirm any shows or zones or anything like that until way closer to the event. But if construction doesn't start here, like the next month, I don't think we're gonna have a house here. We don't have a house there. That's the end of an era. It lasted a few years. And while that house location did work, it wasn't one of my favorites because there was like no covering for it. So I'm happy if we get an actual tent set up somewhere else or maybe even uh, another soundstage house. I don't know what soundstage they'd have available to use since 747 is never used anymore and you can't even go back there during Horror Nights. But speaking of HHN, we are going to get on the studio tour today, but that's just because I noticed there's not a whole lot of progress with the two house locations in the Curious George area. And I'll put some photos up on the screen from people who have captured photos of them, but even since the last time that we were here, it doesn't look like they made too much progress. There's some brickwork going on on one of them, and then no detail at all as far as the other one goes, which I think one of them will probably be Chucky, especially with the little window box outside of the facade that Chucky could be interacting with guests at. But yeah, nothing like crazy new as far as those facades go. No studio tour today, but there is one more thing that I wanted to talk about and show you guys that is actually outside of the park. It's located in CityWalk, a brand new offering as a part of the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary celebration. Oh yeah, look, some uh, posters up for the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary, but that's not what I want to show you guys. Got to walk a little bit further down. Oh, I didn't even realize it was open, but they're kind of like uh, ever-changing tribute store over here is themed to Jurassic Park. That's what I was trying to talk about, 30th anniversary. Let's go take a step inside, see what's in there. There's so much Jurassic Park stuff in here. It's a Jurassic Park chess set, mug, t-shirts and whatnot. I always love how they theme up the store to whatever the theme is. I like, kind of dig that shirt. It kind of gives off like a, a vintage vibe. Really like it actually. They do have 30th anniversary merch. Obviously they're doing a big tribute store in Orlando, but this is like our 
little mini tribute store. Okay, never mind. I said I really like the yellow shirt, but I actually like this one a whole lot. Fortunately, though, it's forty dollars. So I'm not gonna buy that right now, but it's like stone washed with the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary little logo right there in the middle. That's gonna wrap it up for all the exciting updates around Universal Studios Hollywood. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Checked out some Horror Nights construction. Checked out some uh, potential roller coaster construction. And of course the Jurassic merch was really cool too. I'm actually uh, happy that the store was open because I was just gonna film the outside, but it's gonna get a good look at the 30th anniversary merchandise. Not too sure when the one in Orlando opens up, but the one, mini one in Hollywood here is open. However, like I said, lots of updates going on around Universal Studios Hollywood, and I'm happy that Horror Night season, or at least speculation season and construction season, is finally here. But if you're new here, subscribe with those bell notifications on so you never miss a video like the one that you just watched right now, and leave it a like if you do enjoy it. My name is Scott, you've been watching Exploring Attractions, Positivity is Key, and most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out, everybody.